think anything differently when it's tied up early in the fourth. Let's um, just go. No, to be honest with you, I, I wasn't even paying attention to the score. Um, I was just trying to, you know, make the right play, be aggressive. Um, and the right play, they were, you know, they were giving me space at the rim. Uh, and, you know, I took advantage of it. It was, it was really as simple as it was. I didn't, I didn't know the score. I didn't know. I was just trying to get stops and play the right way. All of the boosts in his ability to play 44, 47, 48 minutes over the last three games. Just to, do you get surprised at all to see him not check out of a game? Um, no, I'm not surprised. I think, you know, obviously early on in the year he wasn't playing as much. Um, but you have to credit him for, you know, most guys when they're not, you know, not playing much or not playing at all, um, they kind of give in to the, okay, well, I'm not going to work, you know, do extra workouts. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. He does everything um, and he's ready to go. So, you know, when his number's called and he doesn't come out, that's what happens. He's ready to go. How important is it? And what, what does it say about the team that, like, on any given night, it could be you, it could be Jalen, it could be Miles, who maybe is a high scorer? Um, I think, you know, when you play basketball the right way and you play within our system, like you said, anybody can have um, anybody can have a big night. Obviously, we lean heavy on, on Jalen, um, but nights where you know it doesn't fall for him necessarily, he can still do other things. He can create for everybody else around him. I think that's what he did early on in the game. Um, I think he just got rolling early, um, and then you know you, when you're just playing in the system and everybody has the freedom and the green light, that's what that's what happens. What do you think the difference was today in the fourth quarter? Uh, you know, it was such a close game up until then. Um, I think we just locked in, you know, honestly, defensively. Um, one, you know, limit them to one shot, uh, make it hard, be physical. Um, I think, you know, early on, you know, the first half, they were getting a lot of tippings. Um, they were getting, you know, fouls at the rim, kind of easy layups. So we had to take that out, still be physical, but um, limit their second chance opportunities. What, what do you do that allows you to, to still yeah, be on the floor, be active, and, and go as hard as you go late in this game? Honestly, it's mental. Uh, just telling myself to keep pushing through, give everything I got in order to get the win. When you were out of the rotation early in the season, a lot of people say you can't get in game shape without actually playing games. How do you? How did you build your conditioning during those times? Trying to make practice harder than you know the games. Doing whatever I can, running, uh, treadmill, bike. Um, and making a game like in practice uh, as much as I can. Were, were you looking over to Tibbs or anybody to see if you were going to come out today, or did you expect to go the whole distance? I try not to look over. I want to <laughs> stay in. I want to stay in. I, I, so I noticed that in like uh, like eight minutes left, Jalen something back in four minutes for that eight minute mark. He come in for you. Could come in for Burks and like that Golden State game. He comes in for you. Mm -hmm. You're standing behind the three point line. Your back is literally turned yeah. to the next bench. Like is that actually conscious? Like I'm not even looking. Uh, a little bit maybe. <laughs> So you, you talk about mental. Was it hard earlier in the year when you're not playing? How far is it, what do you do mentally to say, it doesn't matter, I'm going to keep myself ready? That's going to be mental, right? Yeah, it definitely has, you know, some downs when you're not playing and you want to do anything to help the team win. It's tough, but, you know, you just, you know, stay true, uh, you know, look to the Lord and just do whatever I can to keep myself ready. I remember... Like it was probably the first time you and Jalen played together in like consequential minutes this year. We were talking after the game mm -hmm. when you guys like ran into each other on the like, yeah. roll. You were talking about how you just hadn't really played together. Can you can you take us through the process of like building encore chemistry with him and kind of how it got to this 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 point? Just more minutes, honestly. Um, you know, he's high IQ. I'm high IQ, so I knew it was gonna click at one point. Just the more we played together, the more used to, uh, used to it we were gonna get. How much of that is like playing together away from games, like in practice and that kind of stuff, and just actually the minutes on the court? I mean, I'm asking a lot of questions too to him. Um, you know, he's he's great at what he does, and he's a great leader. So you know, I'm asking questions, and you know, he's pointing us in the right direction. When OG went down the first time, Tom started precious, right? And, and this time around, he, he gives you the nod. Just what, what was that conversation like? What did he tell you that you bring to the starting lineup that would kind of give the team a boost? I think just uh, matchup wise, uh, I, I'm able to guard uh, some of the better guards. Um, and be disruptive. I think also offensively, I, we just keep it spaced a lot more. So I think those are kind of the things. I think we just locked in. I mean, I think that was the biggest thing. I think we had a couple of stints where we were really kind of let it slide. But, um, just at the end of lock in, I mean, these last games are really important, especially how close the, um, the standings are right now. So um, especially games like this, we just have to make sure we get the wins. <laughs>
you think about the fact that you guys didn't land uh, yesterday and talk about five yeah. o'clock and then the quick yeah. turnaround you had to be here this morning. Take me inside the mental toughness that it takes to, to get through a win, uh, a win yeah. with such a quick turnaround. Um, I mean, with the turnaround, it kind of felt like a back to back to me. Um, just coming in. Um, after the game, you don't really sleep probably until three anyways, and then you gotta get up at probably like nine to, to get to the flight, and then you land at five. And then... You don't need a whole itinerary. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was it's just like, it's kind of felt more like back to back. For you, career high 20, and then 17 today. And do you feel like you're kind of clicking with everything is sort of coming back around for you at the right time? Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling feeling good, feeling healthy. That's the biggest thing. And then guys are just finding me, like, kind of playing more of a, I don't know how to say it, maybe a more uns unselfish basketball right now. And I think that's. That's fun for me. I mean, it kind of lets me kind of do what I, what I what I was brought here to do. So, um, yes, yeah, it's been fun. The, the last three games produced, I think it's 44 minutes, 47 yeah. minutes, 48 yeah. minutes. Just how, how do you know that he's in elite shape to be able to do that? Do you see this um, training in the offseason? Like, what do you mean? I mean, you just see the work. I mean, I was telling him to get the game season when he wasn't really playing that much, just stay ready. And so I think he did a great job of staying ready. Um, that's how the NBA kind of is. You can change from one day to another. Um, you can go from not playing to him playing, as he said, 44, 48. So um, just proud of him that he stayed ready. And um, just the way he's been playing, it's been great for us. I mean, it's not just like he's coming in, kind of filling in minutes. He's really uh, helping us win right now. It's been great to see. So how are you feeling? And how um, are your contributions not just defensively and offensively? Yeah, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling great. I mean, I think um, our medical staff has done a great job. Um, Gave me back. I think um, Tibbs has done a great job of just like easing me back into it and not kind of forcing it too much. So um, it's appreciated from them about that. But um, I mean, I'm just playing my game right now.